Hello students, my name is Tiyati Said and thanks for watching Edipedia Word Videos. My topic for the presentation is the 12th section of the chapter Structural Organization in Animals. We will be studying excretory system of frogs. So, the elimination of nitrogenous waste is carried out by a well-developed excretory system. The excretory system of frog consists of a pair of kidneys, okay, ureter, cloaca and urinary bladder. These are compact, dark red and beam-like structure which is situated a little posteriorly in the body cavity on both sides of the vertebral column. Okay. As you can see that this is kidney, the, these are ureters, these are uh, urinary bladder and this is cloaca. So kidney as you can see that it is composed of several structural and functional unit called uriniferous tubules or nephrons. Two ureters they emerge out from each of the kidney okay in the male frogs the ureter act as a urinogenital duct which opens into a cloaca this is cloaca okay outside opening okay but in females the ureter and oviduct they open separately in the cloaca okay please note that this is the only difference between male and female that in males the ureter this these two ureters, that means one pair of ureter, they act as urinogenital duct which opens into cloaca. Okay, this is the outside opening which is known as cloaca. But in females, the ureter and the oviduct, they open separately in cloaca. And then comes urinary bladder. This is urinary bladder. This yellow uh, part is urinary bladder. So the thin walled urinary bladder is present ventral to the rectum. Okay. It is present on the ventral side of the rectum. See, this is rectum. This one. And the, this urinary bladder is uh, present on the ventral side of the rectum okay which also opens into cloaca okay that means ureter and urinary bladder they both open into cloaca which is the outside opening okay the frog excretes urea and thus it is also known as ureotelic animals okay that means they are also known as ureotelic animals when I will teach you excretory system in humans, then I will be telling you the three forms, ammonotelic, ureotelic and uricotelic. Okay, so uh, for the time being just know that the frog excretes urea and thus is a ureotelic animal. Excretory waste, they are carried by blood into the kidney where it is separated and excreted. Okay, so I hope it's clear to all of you uh, the excretory system of frog that it consists of kidney which are two in number. It consists of ureter which is again of two number, cloaca which is the outside opening and the urinary bladder. So the excretory system of frog consists of kidney two ureter, one cloaca and one ure and one pair of urinary bladder. Okay. And the kidney in frog is dark red in color and it is bean shaped and it is found posteriorly in the body cavity on both side of the vertebral column. See this is the vertebral column. Okay. And uh, it is uh, these uh, kidneys they are found posteriorly on the body cavity on both the sides okay each kidney is formed of uriniferous tubules which is also known as nephron so nephron is a structural and functional unit of kidney okay now 
comes the ureter. We have already talked about uh, kidney. Now comes ureter which is again of two in number. So the ureter they emerge out from the kidney and uh, in males they act as a urinogenital duct which opens into cloacal which is the outside opening. Okay. But in females ureter and OV duct they open separately in cloaca. Okay. So this is the sole difference between male frog and female frog that in male uh, ureter they act like a urinogenital duct which opens into cloaca whereas in females ureter and oviduct they open separately in cloaca okay and then comes urinary bladder this yellow one so it is very thin wall it is present ventral to the rectum see as you can see this is uh, your rectum and it is uh, and this urinary bladder they are present on the ventral side of the rectum which opens into cloaca okay and this is cloacal aperture frog as we very well know that they are ureotelic animals okay that means the nitrogenous waste are carried by blood into the kidney where it is separated and excreted so this was all about the excretory system which is found in frogs in my next section of the presentation we'll be studying about the nervous system of frogs so till then Stay tuned and keep watching Edupedia World Videos.